Newman. the services of Derek Ferguson, who's suspended, plus Ian Ferguson and John Miller, who are injured. And there's Dutchman Peter van de Ven, who was a regular in the Aberdeen first team till last December, but lost his place after a couple of orderings off. However, he's a fine, versatile player and should prove a good investment. He arrived in Scotland from Dutch club Vilna II two years ago this month. Celtic make two changes to the team which drew with Manchester United on Wednesday with Chris Boris, who agreed a new two-year contract earlier this week, replacing Mark McNally and Darius Dobchak replacing Joe Miller in a tactical change. And there's a sight many thought they wouldn't see this season. Paul McStay still in the green and white hoops of Celtic. He goes into his 12th full season with the club and will be hoping to continue the fine form he produced at the European Championship Finals in Sweden this summer. The referee is Brian McGinley from Balfron. And so the 1992-93 season gets underway here at Tynecastle a few minutes late. Crowd still streaming into the ground. There have been traffic problems around Edinburgh. And a big crowd here this afternoon. And after a few early showers, the sun has come out. kick awarded to Hearts. Well, this is the 53rd Premier meeting between the clubs. Celtic have won 31 and Hearts 9 with 12 of the games drawn. And you see the, the pass back rule in operation. It's not strictly a pass back, any pass to the goalkeeper is not allowed to pick it up. And Henry Smith has now made 600 appearances in the first team for Hearts. He was ever present last season. And of course, he was in Sweden for the European finals. run by Bannon, Gillespie stepping in, high clearance from Gary Gillespie, who will be hoping to avoid injury this season, he had his problems last year managing just 29 games, never more than six consecutive matches, of course with his spell down south he won three championship medals with Liverpool, he will be hoping to add a Premier Division medal here with Celtic. And Marshall struggling there, by the goalkeeper, Celtic survive it. Well, it's been a nervy start to the game all round. Loughlin getting the touch, cut out by Boyd. Nice to find Collins. It's quickly closed down by Gary Mackay. Bill John Collins, the former Hibs player, he's getting some special treatment here. Charlie Nicholas. Paul McStay pouncing on it. Great play by Paul McStay. Well, wonderful force control by the Celtic captain. And he just couldn't find the net at the last moment. That was brilliant play. And he stabbed the ball beyond Henry Smith. Well, he scored just seven goals last season, Paul McStay. He'll be looking to do better this time around. He knows that was a real chance. That'll keep the Celtic fans happy. Well, Celtic uh, in recent years have had to start the campaigns away from home. I remember they were at Tannadice last year, for part the year before. In fact, they kicked off uh, season 85-86 here at Tynecastle, the year they went on to win the league on goal difference from Hearts. And it was a McStay goal in injury time that gained Celtic a point that day. So it's Gary Gillespie. Looking for Collins, but the offside flag had gone up. Now, that'll be a booking because referees have been told that any player who kicks the ball away after offside has been given will automatically be cautioned. So John Collins picks up an unnecessary booking and these could prove vital during the course of a long season. Good 
play by Mackay and Bannon. Grant was involved in it as well. Followed by Mowbray. It's all over the place here. And Marshall gets it there eventually. Well, Celtic are under all kinds of pressure. They're all bouncing about awkwardly around the penalty area. And eventually Marshall grabbed hold of it. They quickly challenged there by Mackay. That was Crabb laying it off to Bannon. Mowbray under pressure. And the ball goes behind for the corner kick. Kidley has switched over to the right side to take it. Bannon getting the chance. Oh. Him and Bannon got a second bite at it. Cross McKinley flipped it in. It was Levine who got his head to it initially. The back of the header, then Bannon sending it wide. It's away from Levine to Quinney. A challenge going in initially from McLaren. Tosh McKinley was involved, and again, aggro between the players, and there's going to be a yellow card here. Jerry Craney is being called over. He leaves the player, and no doubt, so Craney becomes the second Celtic player booked this afternoon. Collins has already been shown the yellow card. It's an easy one for Mowbray. Chested down by McStay. That's Craney. Craney trying the right foot shot and well, it certainly had Henry Smith diving to meet it. And Craney hasn't been able, in common with the other strikers, to get a lot of space and he just decided to let loose. Perhaps we need a bit more of that in this game. Well, we're inside the final minute. Hearts have the throw in. Stay for Celtic. George Wright sticking with him. Will Celtic have it through Morris? Now it's Collins. Morris again. O'Neill onto his right foot. Well, he struck it well enough, but it never really troubled the uh, Hearts goalkeeper. Really straight at Smith. So we're now moving into injury time. Played through. Crab couldn't quite get hold of it. It's cleared by Mowbray to Collins. Let's double check. And there goes the half time whistle. Well, largely disappointing. But uh, they've had a couple of chances. Paul McStay had a terrific run early on, which took him between two defenders. At the ball going just wide of Henry Smith's left hand post. And at the other end, Damon Bannon. Got two bites at the ball, but sent it just wide of Gordon Marshall's left-hand post. The half-time score here at Tank Castle, Hearts nil, Celtic nil. And let's hope someone can put their foot in the ball and slow things down a bit. And right away, it's the two former Middlesbrough players in action. Mowbray there with Baird. Celtic have switched tactically today and they're playing Tom Boyd just to Mowbray's right, Gillespie just to his left and they're pushing Morris and Dubcek forward when, whenever possible Van de Ven sitting at the back with Levine and McLaren for Hearts well a miss kick by Freeney but Celtic have it again Dubcek the ball goes through to Nicholas. Oh, that's good play again by Nicholas. It's Collins! And a marvellous save by Henry Smith. Well, 
And about the Charlie Nicholas doing exactly the same thing at Parkhead in a match against them, the United last season. Brilliant play, brilliant close control. There was John Collins with an excellent shot and a save to match from Henry Smith. Well, that's the kind of stuff the fans want to see. John Collins was in there, Henry Smith I think got his hand to the ball it come off the underside of the bar and it's gone behind now for the corner kick but to knock one one there, Henry Smith again got his hand to it and the ball hadn't crossed the line comes Van de Ven, stabs it through but right to Gillespie and Celtic really only pretty forwards And the man running into trouble, and Henry Smith read that situation well. Morris to Collins. Mocklin's in there battling for it. And Hart's win the free kick. Liam Brady there. Well, it's a tough place to come for the first game. And it's certainly been a tough game. Crab just keeping the ball in play, but uh, being jostled all the way. Hearts have the free kick. Tom Boyd, the offender. We live in play on. Scott Crab shot. Well, that almost caught Gordon Marshall. Scott Crabb reacted quickly. But there's John Wright to get his head to the ball. It's laid off by Bear. And that one wasn't far away. And Chris Morris was racing forward. And it breaks to McStay. Boyd to O'Neill. O'Neill taking on Van de Ven. Great play by O'Neill. Well, superb play by the young Celtic player. They couldn't quite get enough on the shot to bend it away from Henry Smith, but it was delightful play as he took on an experienced defender like Peter van der Ven. Perhaps about to make a substitution, John Robertson is who uh, is coming on. And Scott Crabb has gone off. Well, Crabbe took a knock earlier on. And John Robertson himself has had fitness problems since before the summer. Enjoyed his testimonial match here earlier on in the week. Mowbray for Celtic. Turned by Levine, a touch by Mackay. Boyd. Nicholas did enough there, and that will be a booking for Craig Levine. He took Craney right out of the play. And he's uh, rather lucky, I think, uh, he wasn't the last defender. Otherwise, that would have been a red card. Uh, he becomes the first Hearts player booked this afternoon. And uh, three players booked all together, Collins and Craney of Celtic in the first half. Now Celtic about to make the substitution. Gary Craney is going off and Tommy Coyne will replace him. And shoved by Levine who says that uh, Nicholas was backing into him. The referee was right beside him. Here's Dovchek, going to get through towards Tommy Coyne. What an old goal! Craig Levine put the ball into his own net. 79 minutes gone. Well, the Celtic fans are delighted. Craig Levine is disgusted. Tommy Coyne's header here through absolutely everybody. 
Find out this will be. Hawks no, Celtic one. Well, in a game like this, well, it's been such a hard battle. That was the cruelest blow of all. So Celtic's 100th Premier League goal against Hawks is an OG. Tommy Coyne. Uh, keep up by Charlie Nicholas. And the free kick to Hawks. been laced with mistakes. There's almost another one there. And he gets it away to Nicholas. Now Celtic. What hard on shutting down opponents and it paid off there. Well Paul McStay reacting very quickly indeed. Chris Morris swung in the cross. And there was McStay almost catching Henry Smith. Keep on looking to the spot. So a dub check with the corner. Well, there was a push there by Henry Smith and Tommy Coyne. There was a bit of jostling going on. So the keeper's hands going forward as Coin challenged them. McLaren up there lending his support to the attack. Moon Bannon's there, Gillespie getting the ball partly clear. McLaren's cross, Bert's up there, and comes Tosh McKinley, broke away from him though. Gives Morris a chance to clear, and there's Maris Levine. Just under four minutes left. Hawks doing everything they can to save a point. And they have the throw in. Clearances. So Dov check uh, with the man to leave the field. That is Dov check, and uh, on comes Joe Miller. Celtic will just want to keep the ball down in that corner. They'll be quite happy to keep it there. And it's Hart's throw, quickly taken by McKinley. And there goes the final whistle. Well, the perfect start to the season for Celtic. Taking two points, two very good points in a difficult away match. The Celtic fans are absolutely delighted. But uh, for Greg Levine, an afternoon he'll want to forget. It was Darius Dubchuk who put the ball through. Tony Coyne headed across goal. And then Levine trundled it into the back of his own net. The final score here at Tynecastle, Hearts nil, Celtic 1. Liam, you obviously...